Konnichiwa and hey guys, today we are creating my favorite moment from Yuyutsu Kaisen Season 2, The Fight, Gojo vs. Tochi and we will add some amazing features to the clay creation. Clay clay. With gear wheels and Lego technique and clay, I'm back from the summer vacation, I'm back from the summer break and this is the first project we are creating. One of the most unique, iconic moments in the new season two from Yuyutsu Kaisen. Um, I'm really new to this manga and got hooked. So please bear with me here that I don't have that much background information but will guide you through my creation. We start with the building process of the moving mechanism. I want to put in some movements into this whole fighting scenery we are creating. When you have seen, it was episode 3 in season 2, you know that Gojo was distracted by these flies. And I want to include them. I want to give them an important role in today's creation because they look awesome. For now, the mechanism is finished. Let's continue. Let's start with Gojo. Satoru Gojo is one of the main protagonists of Yuyutsu Kaisen. He is a special great Yuyutsu sorcerer and, well, recognized as the strongest in the world and he is the pride of the Gojo family, so a big deal and he works as a teacher at Tokyo Yuyutsu High and well, uses his influence to protect and train his students. Most of the time he is shown with some cover on his eyes, like a bandage or sunglasses. But as the fight is happening in the past, from what I have understood, he is shown without any cover at all. In our fighting scenery, Gojo is surprised by Toji. Therefore, I'm creating him in this posture where he is really surprised by the attack. Let's make his suit a little darker. To understand more of his character, which is all developing throughout the whole manga, Satoru is extremely confident in his abilities and, um, well, he is a very powerful sorcerer, believing himself to be invincible which breaks his neck in the battle. Yeah, even among the special great sorcerers, he is known to be the strongest sorcerer in the series with immense amounts of cursed energy and a deathly powerful technique. On the other side, this is Tochi Fujigoro. From what I have seen, he has multiple appearances in the show and he was a former member of the Zenin family and the, well, assassin known as the Sorcerer Killer. He is the primary antagonist of the Gojo past arc and the fact why I really love him is his cursed spirit and I'm so looking forward to create his spirit with clay later on in today's video. The trousers with dolphin grey are almost finished in the attacking pose. Back to Gojo. I feel a bit sorry for him in today's creation but also the moment in the series. He looks a little bit boring as clay figurine but he serves a different purpose. He is the victim in our battle scenery and that's okay. Um, so I spend some extra time on some beautiful hands and the neck. Oh look, it's Earthworm Jim. Let's talk about the battle and what's happening there. 
At the beginning, Zatoru understands Toji's plan and begins his offensive by generating a field of attraction behind his opponent and um, is sending him flying away using Curse Technique Labs Blue. What we can witness is a Tochi who is incredibly fast and his reflexes are um, superior to Gojo's. So he is able to not only avoid the attacks but to hide. There are many covers um, all around. There is a roof where he is jumping onto and Satoru Gojo has some difficulties in reading the movements as um, Tochi is not using any kind of cursed energy. Let's work on the setting by using some cardboard and we will place it on top of our Lego mechanism which we created and will decorate it with clay making it really beautiful because within the fight the setting changes. Satoru creates a giant field of attraction that tears everything apart. The buildings, the trees, the plants, like me, uh, tearing apart this Fall Guys map. We will use these acrylic sticks and put them into the mechanism and maybe you already have a clue what is happening in our today's creation. So all is left from the landscape is a tiny island, everything is destroyed and we are creating this island where Gojo is standing on top of it. Um, he destroyed all the possibilities for Tochi to hide. And then something strange is happening. The sky darkens and flies are appearing. It's a giant swarm of fly heads Gojo is assuming that Tochi is using them like some kind of a grenade. I expected some kind of blade coming out of one of the fly heads. But it's just to distract him and to take his vision. He is unable to locate his enemy with his view blocked. Once again, I'm getting some help from Crystal. She's creating some of the flies. Well, mainly all of them. The flying heads. They look amazing. Uh, we have some different types. We have some with the mouth closed, some with the red lips, some looking like Pokemon, some looking like crickets all in different tones of brown. To get this insect look, we create different segments on the bodies and also on the legs. The fly heads are weak, um, insect-like curses, but still look awesome. <laughs> These are the legs, they are often hardened and we can stick them into the torso, into the bodies of our tiny flies. And so in total we created nine of these beautiful creatures. Not that easy to create on such a small scale. Satoru is looking into the wrong direction, making the biggest mistake and Tochi 
instantly appears behind him from the swarm of cursed insects, the flying heads. And we are working on the beautiful hair, creating white strains with clay. Um, and this is after oven hardening from the head. Let's switch over to Toji and work on his body, making him really strong. He is wearing this black shirt, um, has tons of muscles, which we will bring in like these ones for the chest. Then some beautiful wrinkles. And then let's work on the arms. Holding two weapons, which we'll talk about in a minute. With a very thin layer of black clay, we can create the sleeves of the shirts, which are covering the muzzles, making it really realistic looking. To create a realistic looking blue belt, I'm also using a very thin layer of clay, getting in some wrinkles and placing it on this knot. And it just looks so beautiful. He has these typical shoes, boots, uh, where we can see some parts of the flesh of his feet and they are surrounded by this dark blue. Same dark blue which I also used for Gojo's suit. And let's give him also a grey sole for the shoes. Maybe they are still a little bit too thick. And we can change this by just cutting away an extra layer. And I just like how it looks right now. Some flesh tone for the skin, for the neck. And then we are almost done with the body. We have some tiny beautiful details like the grip holding the knife in his left hand. And the right hand holding the inverted spear of heaven, which will be quite from importance for today's battle scenery. Second head we are creating, this is Tochi. I don't really want to make him smile, because he isn't smiling. It looks like this right now. Um, <laughs> subscribe hit the bell it means the world to me to create for you guys and after being back after the summer break i can't wait to get amazing projects started we have tons of ideas and also many many games um, being released this year if you have any ideas for future projects as always please Share them with me. Write them down in the comments. We are giving Tochi his facial expression by painting the iris and eyebrows. Brows. A I I bro. Hey bro. <laughs> Same also for Gojo. And then we can do the oven hardening for the hair. For Gojo, we have an important detail. The, wo the wound, 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 he's wounded. Some blood on the chest, which is dripping down. Some blood. I have no idea where this is coming from, but it has the perfect color for Tochi's cursed spirit. There is one fun fact for me um, about this cursed spirit. It can store all the weapons like a purse of a Toji. And I think it's just hilarious. 
to have something like this around your neck and you just need like a straw or your keys or a bottle of water or an inverted spear of heaven and you just grab your purse which is hanging around your neck grabbing into his mouth pulling it out oh look at that they look so cute together so happy Tochi is finished. We have one last fly to create and we have the weapons to create. Last working steps. Then we are going to assemble all this stuff and create the most awesome battle scenery from the series. At least from what I have seen. While creating the last fly, let's talk about what's happening next in the battle. And let's bring in the inverted spear of heaven. This spear forces the stoppage of any curse technique. And this also includes the limitless. So Tochi is able to get through to Gojo. He is distracted still from the flies. And... The sorcerer killer himself, Tochi, is taking this weapon, which we are creating right now, and steps it clean through Satoru's neck. So we have some brutal, beautiful shots. Um, the sorcerer bleeding from the mouth. And Tochi is acting quite quickly because he has another, a second knife. We are bringing in some beautiful shadows and now the wings. We make them slightly brownish with the acrylic pen and then using the scalpel to create these beautiful lines. Look at that. So we have a total of nine flies. There you have them. Uh, some of them get some more details around the eyes and the body uh, to emphasize more of these segmented bodies. And then we stick in the wings, making them just perfect, so beautiful. Maybe this one gets a little more, more some some more shadows. <laughs> Hit the bell, subscribe, uh, don't miss future videos. If you have ideas, please share them, leave them down in the comments. I read them all. Um, obviously, I can't comment and reply everyone. Now, some holes for the acrylic sticks. He looks so broke, he looks so beautiful, <laughs> I just love them. Can't wait to see them in action, can't wait to see them moving. I'm adding some more silver details to the weapons. Inverted Spear of Heaven, which is now finished, and the second knife, putting them into the hands of the Sorcerer Killer. And we can place them for the final battle. I'm drilling some holes for the acrylic sticks. And I really hope that everything is working as smooth as I am hoping for. <laughs> Look at that. The technique is working. Now we just have to stick all of them into the holes. And guys... That's it. Satoru Gojo versus Tochi Fushigoro. And an epic fight. <laughs>